hi students welcome back let's see the next uh, topic that is the implementation of the symbol table in the previous video i explained what exactly the symbol table was and what type of information will be stored in the symbol table now let's see how you are going to implement the symbol table the symbol table can be implemented in the unordered list if the compiler is used to handle the small amount of data suppose if you are if the compiler is handling the small amount of data it will be implemented in the unordered list format okay i said the symbol table can be arranged in the uh, linear or by hash okay so the linear is a linked li list format if either it is a ordered list or unordered list and in the hash format a symbol table can be implemented in one of the following techniques that is the linear which is a sorted and unsorted list linear list the symbol table can be implemented by using with the help of linear in the form in the format of linear list or hash table or even binary search tree also okay so based on the compiler uh, based on the type of language you are using uh, you can uh, prefer the symbol table implementation so mostly the symbol tables are implemented by using the hash tables only mostly implemented as hash tables now let's see what are the operations provided by the symbol table when while you the symbol table will do mainly two operations one is the insert and another is the lookup so then seeing these operations you can observe that insert means what type of operation it is going to perform so whatever the variables that you are declaring and whatever the functions that you are declaring and whatever the operators that you are using so that everything information while you are writing the source program and you are trying to compile that source program that program regarding information that is insertion everything the related information will be stored in symbol table with the help of insert function and lookup lookup means following so when you are using those variables again whatever you already inserted values if you if you are going to use those variables in the coming programs okay in the coming modules by using lookup function you are just retrieving those values okay so these are the two operations provided by the symbol table insert and the lookup now let's see insert insert function uh, it is more frequently used in analysis phase the first thing is uh, most why i am saying that it is mostly used in analysis phase only because analysis phase is nothing but the front end at the time of writing the program okay compiling the program the complete program information will be stored in the symbol table so analysis phase consisting of uh, it's before the uh, conversion so that is a front end so it is uh, insert function is more frequently used in analysis phase when tokens are identified and names are stored in the table so in the first phase is a lexical analyzer lexical analyzer is going to generate a tokens so the tokens information like when tokens are identified and names are stored in the table the insert function takes the symbol and its values in the form of argument like this suppose if integer x this is a declaration so how this uh, value will be stored in the symbol table in which format like this insert x comma int so with the help of this operation uh, this function this value of x will be stored in the symbol table means the symbol table will be storing in this format insert x comma integer so integer is a data type and x is a variable okay now let's see the lookup lookup it is used to search a name the first thing is it is used to search a name so when you are using that suppose a series of program is there so here integer a variable is used again you call that variable in some other program means in some other module this is one module another module like that so you just use that variable in another module so whenever you use that variable in another module what it is doing the compiler will check the symbol table it goes to the symbol table and search whether the a is already declared or not if it is not declared it 
enters the record in the symbol table. If it is declared, it's just use that variable. So that is it here saying the existence of the symbol symbol in the table. You just check whether that existence of symbol is present in the table or not. Declaration of symbol before it is used. Declaration of the symbol before it is used. Check whether the name is used in the scope or not. Initialization of the symbol. Checking whether the name is declared multiple times or not. So these are all the functions that uh, lookup operation will perform. So the lookup is used to search a name like this. If the name is present, it just retry that name. If the name is not present, it inserts a new record. Okay. And this lookup also determines the existence of a symbol in the table and declaration of the symbol before it is used. Check whether the name is used in the scope or not. Initialization of the symbol and also it checking whether the name is declared multiple times or not. Okay. And... The basic format of the lookup function is lookup symbol. So, whereas insertion is like this, insert variable comma data type and the lookup is lookup symbol. A symbol means you are going to search that value. So, this format is varies according to the programming language. So, different programming language will use different lookup tables. So let's see here a symbol table organization how the sim, uh, this is a sample program. This program is going to store and the, the variables and the uh, values that you are used in the program that will be stored in the symbol table. Let's see. So this is one procedure and this is another procedure. Okay. Let's see first this procedure top. A three variables of real type. Enter the three variables z, y, x of data types real, which is a symbol table for Q. So this symbol table is a sub, this is a sub processor of this processor. Okay. So this processor is not ended here. Okay. Uh, after Q, it will be ending. So like that, this processor P coming to here, the symbol table here is Q already the Q procedure is inserted in the procedure P. So Q which is a real and X is a real. Sorry, these are the booleans. Let's take this is boolean and this is boolean. Okay. So again coming to here. So this is a main symbol table. Main symbol table which is a globally declared. So here the processor P is there. In the inside the processor P, there is a Q is there. So the processor P and Y is of integer and X is of integer. So in this way, the data will be stored in the symbol table regarding this program. So this program information will be stored in the symbol table. Thank you.